What is up you guys, Nick here with another video. Today I have a really cool video to show you guys. So you may already know that in Android 9.0 Pi, Samsung has removed the native Movie Maker application from the OS, meaning that you can't go in and cut clips together and add music to it if you want to and trim things nice and neatly like you could if you were using iMovie on a Mac or Shotcut or Vegas on a PC. I don't know why they removed this, it was a very, very useful thing to have, and while I didn't use it every single day, uh, because I usually just edit on my PC when I make videos, it was still nice to be able to shoot a few quick clips and then slap a video together and get it uploaded if I had something really quick that I wanted to share and I was away from my computer, like if I was on vacation or something and didn't want to take my laptop with me, or whatever. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get this application back and show you that it works fully functionally and works 100%. Uh, the only caveat is you have to have a Samsung phone. If you do not have a Samsung phone, when you try to open the installation file, you will receive a parsing error, which means that uh, you don't have the required services to be able to install this application. And that's fine. It's Samsung's application. They want it to run on their phone, so that makes perfect sense. So what I have done is scoured the internet, and I have downloaded this file from some shady website but I've scanned it and decompiled the APK and examined it and looked and there is no spyware or anything inside of it. And then I have re-uploaded it to a more reputable website. And I have a link in the description, but there is the URL that you can see right there. If you want to download this and share it, then you can share it via this link or however you want to do it. I don't care. Um, but I've uploaded it here. You don't have to have an account to upload or download from this website, so shout out to these guys because uh, that's, that's really nice to not have to create yet another account on the internet just to be able to share a file or just to be able to download a file and hand over all your information. So that's a very nice service that they have. Uh, so the only thing is it's a little bit slow. You can see the download's only 93 megabytes in size, but you'll see once it gets started here, it's going to take it a minute. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, okay, I'm updating Android applications, so it's kind of spazzing out. All right, so there, we have Samsung Movie Maker 3.apk. That 3 is just because I've downloaded it a couple times just to test and make sure that my link is indeed working. And you can see it's taking it a little bit of time to download, even though I have very fast internet where I live. But that, to me, is no big deal. It's a small price to pay for being anonymous. And it's, you know, it's still not that slow. I mean, if I had to download a 10 gigabyte file, which is the maximum size for this website, then it would probably be a little bit annoying, but you could still just set it and forget it. All right, so here we go. We're not updating Lowe's right now. We are installing this application. All right, so here we go. If you've never installed something from your web browser, like Firefox, Chrome, Edge, or whatever, you're using to download this Movie Maker app, then you'll get an error saying, you know, do you want to allow... Uh, this application to install files, or this this program, or this application is blocked from installing applications. You just click settings on that, and then you go and you turn on unknown installation for that application. You can turn it back off when we're done here if you want, and it's 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 very easy. And this application is secure, so we'll just go ahead and click install, and then it installs, and it only takes it a few seconds. Usually, it's like less than 10 seconds, hopefully, um, maybe a little more. Um, but I am overwriting the existing application, so it does have to go ahead and wipe all that out. Okay, so application installed. Click open. And I'm not actually going to create a project because I don't want to show you everything that's in my gallery. And But I can click about here, and you can see that it is indeed the Movie Maker application, version 2.3.03.11. This is the latest version, and this is the last version that Samsung is going to publish. I really hope they bring this application back in the near future, because it's extremely useful to have on hand when you need it, but there's no guarantee that it will indeed come back. So this is how you get Movie Maker in Android 9.0 Pi on your Samsung phone. I really hope this video helped you out. If it did, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to me so you can see other videos like this where I include tips and tricks. And I also melt metal and do all kinds of other crazy stuff. So check out my channel. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you want to talk to me. I'm usually pretty good at replying. And I will see you in the next video.